All right, guys, let's talk about um, a proper grip, maintaining and, and creating a proper grip for the uh, bass drum mallet. Now, when we're speaking of, uh, in terms of grip, talking about how you are actually holding the mallet, and very, it's very similar to the way you would hold a snare drum stick or, or, or a quad mallet, to be honest with you. Um, all the concepts with the fulcrum, everyone has their kind of different beliefs here, but as far as the fulcrum, this space being closed, the back fingers, all those things are consistent. The one major thing that's different for a bass drum mallet is that instead of holding uh, at the balance point that you normally would for a snare drum stick or, or a quad mallet, we actually slide all the way to the back of the mallet. And what this does is there are some unique things technique-wise about bass drum that help you to play on a vertical surface as opposed to a horizontal surface. So, you know, when you're on a horizontal surface, the way rebound works very much is influenced by gravity, which is one of the most powerful natural forces that exist. And, and that same gravity affects us differently here on a bass drum. So there's just some slightly different concessions that need to be made, um, uh, especially as well if you keep into account playing with felt and playing on a different type of mylar, so on and so forth. So one of those is a little bit more leverage will help a bass drummer play uh, their literature uh, a, a little bit easier. And so that leverage is gained by sliding the hand back in a situation like this. So if you see a large amount of bass mount hanging out of the bottom of the hand, that's probably incorrect. What you need to do is kind of slide the hand down to where uh, either no or just a little is visible. It's okay if there's just a little, a little. Everyone's hands are different, but you want to slide your hand down to the very back here. And as I said earlier, um, you, all, all these normal concessions should be in place if, if you have a student that's doing this with their thumb up too hard and you have a displaced fulcrum that's going to make playing their fours and threes very difficult uh, in any rolls. If they're playing rolls, you want this to be connected. Back finger should be loose um, as, they're, as they're playing there and always maintain like a sense of connection uh, as they're playing. Nothing should ever kind of let go. It should be like a, a sense of flotation with these back fingers on the mallet. Um, and those are kind of the specifics to bass drum. Technique.